Hey everybody, I'm Jennifer Berry and I'm going to take you on a tour of the world's largest plastic bag recycling facility. So, let's go! First, we head out to the loading dock where millions of pounds of plastic bags and film are brought for recycling. You can see the variety of what's brought in. There are so many different colors and types. This is why Hilux Poly advocates for more retailers to use gray or brown bags. This is the dry line, which is where stretch wrap runs. It's placed on a conveyor belt where workers hand remove contaminants. The plastic then goes through float tanks and magnets, which separates out more of the waste. Then it goes through the first of many extrusion processes to remove grime and dirt. Extrusion involves melting the plastic to separate out contaminants, and uh, you can see this plastic goop leaving the machine, and that's what they're cleaning off. The plastic is then chopped into pellets, which are sorted for size and stored for use later. It's also really fun to put your hands in them, and some of the other journalists have to grab a handful too. Then we head over to the wash line, where post-consumer bags are brought. A guillotine chops bales of bags for a similar sorting and cleaning process that you saw before. It then goes through a series of float tanks and magnets to remove more contaminants like receipts, snack bags, cat food tins, and sometimes even bowling balls. Then the water is removed from the plastic. It's important to note that all of the water used in the plant is cleaned on site and then recycled continuously in their system. The plastic then gets chopped into snowy looking pieces that are sorted for size. Anything not the right size gets put back into the system for recycling. Then it goes back through another extruder, where temperatures reach about 450 degrees. The purpose of so many extrusion processes is to remove contaminants and moisture and to melt the plastic so it can be made into the right size. The plastic is cut back into pellets, which are then sorted again for size and stored for use later. I know it sounds geeky, but I'm having a lot of fun being out on the floor right now. Scrap from the plant, like the cutouts from creating the handles on the bags or misprints, are put back into the process. Altogether, the clean, recycled pellets consist of both post-industrial and post-consumer materials and are called CNV, or Compounded North Vernon, which is the name of the plant. The pellets are used to make new, recycled bags at their manufacturing plant next door, or some are shipped mostly by rail to other Hilux Poly plants. The plant has its own testing facility, and the engineers there are always trying new recipes to incorporate different types of materials, even like shopping carts, into their process. Plastic pollution is definitely a problem, but preventing it starts with reducing our use and recycling everything we can. At the North Vernon plant, it's easy to see that the people here love their jobs and feel like they're really making a difference. I think Doug, who's been in this industry for a while, says it best. So here's a bag here that uh, we make, pretty proud of and everything, but it actually says on here, this is made by Hylex, owner of the world's largest bag recycling center, proudly located in North Vernon, Indiana, where recycled bags are made into new bags. Well, I hope you had fun on our tour today. I'm going home with a fresh bag of warm pellets, straight hot off the presses. And uh, I hope you all feel more inspired to recycle your plastic bags next time you're out. Thanks so much. Bye.